So you're going to need a large pot to make your marshmallow fluff, a one box of Rice Krispies with a large bowl, a cookie sheet, two bags of marshmallows. I ended up using three because I really like mine gooey. Strawberry extract. Um, I use freeze-dried strawberries here, so I hydrated some in a bowl, about two scoops worth. White candy melts because you're going to make them pink. Two sticks of salted or unsalted butter. A small whisk or fork, whichever floats your boat. And iridescent luster dust or food coloring, whichever you prefer. First, we're gonna heat up our pot. Mine's been sitting here about two, three minutes. And then you're gonna put your sticks of butter in. I prefer to coat the sides of the pot just to make sure nothing burns. And once that melts all the way out, then we'll add our strawberry extract. Now that our butter is all melted and we have this nice little yellow puddle, we're gonna add our strawberry extract or my freeze dried strawberries here. And then we're gonna take the whisk or fork, combine them until it's a nice consistent red color and then we're gonna let it simmer. And then we're gonna add our marshmallows. Let it sit there for about two minutes. If you let it sit there any longer, it's gonna start to burn. So two minutes and then you're good to go with your marshmallows. Now that our butter and extract is combined, we're going to add our marshmallows. I'm only adding one bag on camera, and I'm adding the rest off camera, but I just wanted you to see what it looks like when you first put them in, and then once they start actually simmering. After it sat like this for a while, I added my third bag of marshmallows, and now we're going to add them to our Rice Krispies. So here I have on pot holders because it is hot and then we're just gonna add them to the bowl and you're just gonna fold them together, not stir, but fold. And you'll see what I mean as the video progresses. When I say fold and not stir, it's because if you stir them, the rice crispies will get soggy faster. If you fold it, then you incorporate everything and it's a minimal amount of sogginess. So when they do set, then they're nice and crispy and crunchy when you bite into them. Now that everything is mixed together, you're just gonna smooth out the top so it sets evenly and you don't have parts that are thicker than others. I use a spatula for this part just because it was really hot. Now that our Rice Krispies are setting, we're gonna make our candy melt mixture. So we're gonna add some more extract, about a tablespoon, and put them in the microwave for 30 second intervals and mix in between. So this is what the candy melts look like in between the first 30 second intervals. You're just going to mix them out so you mix out all the lumps. Um, you'll know that they're fully combined when it's a nice light pink color and it's a very smooth mixture and it's a little runny. Um, I wanted it really runny so I added milk in there in between but if you want a thicker consistency you don't have to add milk. You'll just melt the chocolate together. And you're just going to pop them back in for 30 second intervals again until it's nice and runny and liquidy. This is our last 30 second interval and then our candy melts will be all done and ready to be used. Now that our candy melts are all done and I'm just doing one final mix through to make sure there's no more lumps or anything, make sure everything's combined evenly, we are going to get ready to cut up our Rice Krispies and get them ready to be dipped. All right, so my original plan was to make these Rice Krispies into balls, but I turned out I had way too much. So I'm putting them in two separate square and rectangular pans, and I'm just gonna have them set out. 
Um, and then I'm going to cut them into squares and rectangles. So just like you see me doing here, I'm just spreading it out. And then I'm going to use my little spatula again that I use to mix it to just smooth it out so it sets evenly. Um, be careful because they might still be warm or hot because I made so much. So just keep that in mind. Now the rice krispies are all set up and we're going to take a large knife and cut them into squares or any other shape that you prefer. If you are a child and you're watching this, please ask your parents for help because this can get dangerous. I had put mine in the freezer because I had so much and so little time. So they're a little harder for me to cut. But if you just let them sit out and just let them sit in room temperature, they'll set properly and they'll be easy as pie to cut. Um, again, though, if you are a child, please ask your mom and dad for help or whoever's in the house because this can and will get dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. My Rice Krispies are all cut up and set and ready to be dipped. I'm only dipping part of them. If you want to dip the whole thing, you just drop the whole thing in there and use a fork to get it out. I'm only dipping half of them and then in the other pan, I'm going to drizzle it on top. Since I made my chocolate mixture a little thinner, I do have to dip mine twice, but that's just because I knew when I drizzled it, I didn't want it too thick, so I'm okay with dipping it twice, and you'll see at the end that they came out perfectly fine. All my bars are dipped and sitting, so waiting for their, next, their second dip. And now we're going to drizzle onto the second pan. So I'm just using the whisk that I used to mix it to drizzle it on there. You could use a fork, a spoon, a knife, whatever you feel, a squeeze bottle. I prefer this method. It was less cleanup. And I got pretty much the drizzle I wanted. So there are some parts that have more chocolate than others. So depending on who's eating them, you might get more chocolate if you want more chocolate or less chocolate if you don't. Um, these weren't really that sweet when I tasted them which I'm very happy about because the chocolate's on top of it, so it balances it out. But my drizzle came out the way I wanted it to. It came out perfect, and it's a nice light pink. So still for Valentine's Day, since we're in, we're in February, you know, keep the romance alive. Alrighty, so now we're all done. I just sprinkled the luster dust on top if you wanted to take it and actually brush them with it. But this is what the brownies look like. All said and done. I'm very happy with how they came out. My family enjoyed them, my friends enjoyed them, and I hope you guys enjoyed them. So just remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, 
And let me know what you guys want to see in future videos. I'm up to do anything. And here are my social media handles. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, the whole nine yards. And I will see you next week.